Hey there, besties. Thank you for stopping by. I am Michonne Denise. Child, did y'all see this article? BSO says, Dr. Dre, on how the stress of his divorce from Nicole Young caused him to have a brain aneurysm and almost K-I-L-L-E-D'd him. Wow, that's bad. Uh, but it says, Dr. Dre, in a recent interview, revealed that he nearly died in 2021. According to him, Dr. Study was going to lose his life and his family had to say goodbye to him. Sheesh. Dr. Dre suffered a brain aneurysm last year and says he was so close to death, his family came to the hospital to say their goodbyes. Grace of God. I'm at Cedar sinai Hospital and they weren't allowing anybody to come up meaning visitors or family or anything because of C-19. He told the Workout the Doubt work out the doubt podcast. What a name. But they allowed my family to come in. I found out later they called them up to say their goodbyes because they thought I was out of here. Oh, my God. The brain aneurysm came from the time Dr. Dre was locked in a bitter divorce battle with his ex-wife, Nicole Young. That's stress for real, y'all. Like that is stress for real. I didn't know it, I didn't know it was that serious. He said, "I'm continue. I'm seeing my mom, my sister, everybody come in the room. Nobody told me. I had no idea. That was crazy. So I'm in the ICU for two weeks because of what was going on with my brain. They had to wake me up every hour on the hour for two weeks to do these tests. Sheesh, no rest." Basically looking like sobriety tests. Touch your nose, rub your heel on your calf, all that. Sure, honey, iced tea. So every hour for two weeks, I had to wake up and do that. Jeez. He says it was definitely his ex-wife, Nicole Young, who almost deleted him. If Young would have been able to break her prenuptial agreement, she would have been able to get more than the $100 million that Dre will be handing over to her, according to TMZ. With that being said, if I gave you $100 million, which is one-eighth of Dr. Dre's net worth, I never want to hear from you again. I don't want you to say my name in public or even dream of me. Just take your money and go away. Ooh, child. That's, ooh. Like, like seriously, though, yo. Seriously. What kind of biatch is this woman that this man suffered a brain aneurysm? Like, let's not act like Dr. Dre don't have enough going on, though. Let's let's just say all of it's not attributed to her, right? Dr. Dre been in the business forever. He used to be in the streets a long time ago. And then he comes and he gets with this woman for whatever reason. Because let's not act like she don't have a strong face. All right, we'll just put it that way. Dr. Dre has a strong face. I mean, let's call a spade a spade, okay? And then you get married and then you continue to go through whatever you go through in order to amass the fortune that you have. And then this woman has an out, a rock solid prenuptial agreement that says whatever it said. A hundred million. That is one eighth of this man's uh, net worth. Like when you think about it, it's a lot of money to us because a hundred million is a lot of money. One million is a lot of money if somebody's just giving it to you, right? This is only one eighth of his net worth. So he's really good at the end of the day. But my question is always, how much more, how much more do you need? When is enough enough? If you want to keep the 800 million, because if this is one eighth, then I'm assuming we can say he's worth 800 million, right? If you want all 800 million, stay with the man. Stay with him. Do what has to be done. Calm yourself. The man got to be busy. He always doing something. You can go wherever you want. You can hang out wherever you feel. You can take the kids with you. You can go on vacation. You can go to the spa. You can live in the 10th room down the hall or one of the other properties. You can do whatever you want. So why is it that you think that because you're leaving that you should take everything that this man has amassed? I don't recall hearing Nicole Young's voice on one rap, one melody, one song, one dance, one nothing. I don't see her name on a beat. Why do women think that they deserve it all? Like everything, like every single cent. Why is it that women just want to take men down at every juncture, but then we'll turn around and say, I don't understand. Why don't they want to talk to us? I don't want to talk to y'all and I'm not dating none of you. Y'all crazy. 
all this independence and then all of a sudden you want everything that that person has. Just because you're married to them, just because you had a kid with them, it's like you're pseudo their daggone responsibility for the rest of their lives, even though you don't want to be a part of their life anymore. Or even they don't want to be a part of yours because, you know, people break up for whatever the reasons are. That's not even the point on who files for divorce as far as I'm concerned. The fact is, is that people don't always stay together forever. I'll put it that way. But when you go or when it's time to go, go. Stop trying to bring people down and break them down. Stop trying to have them be in the poor house. You can't tell me that you stay with someone and I don't know how long these people were together, right? You, but let's just say they was together for 10 to 15 years. So you're trying to tell me in that whole 10 to 15 years, you think that you should have all of his daggone money. What the hell was you doing that you think you got to have all his daggone money? And honestly, next thing you know, she's going to be trying to write a book doing a tell-all, giving exclusives to TMZ, something crazy like that. It's not for me to understand, but I just don't understand how in one breath, everybody independent and feminism and we can do it by ourselves. We don't need a man. We don't need a man. And then the next minute they want everything, every dime, every house, every car, every jewelry, every piece of everything and the kids. And then going to try to trot off in the rest of their life. Listen, a lot of you dudes, I know a lot of y'all get it, but there's a lot of y'all that need to grab one and let them know. And I don't understand how anybody would even want to get involved with any woman at this point, unless you really, 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 really are really seriously getting to know someone. Pretty sure Dr. Dre thought he was getting to know someone and knew them very well, but he did get the prenup. So it actually did work out for him based off of this article. So if he didn't want to agree to that, he should have put in a different number. Everybody need to get a damn prenup as far as I can tell. I know people are going to be like, they don't work. They don't necessarily work. Well, it's better to have it and it not work than not have it. So you know it won't work. But good luck to Dr. Dre. Don't be letting no woman stress you out ever again. If I'm not mistaken, he said he would never get married again. And you know what? I wouldn't blame him. Friggin' man almost lost his life over a woman. That is a lot of stress, y'all. That's, that's stress from her on top of everything else. And that's the part that women don't seem to understand and get. We all got to deal with the stress outside of the house. We got to come home and deal with stress here too. You telling me that I got to come into a house that I pay for and still be stressed like I was stressed out there. So there's no break. There's no place where I can get relief. There's no place where I can have a moment of calmness. Yeah, it's not all women, I know. But I'm just saying, from this perspective today, with Dr. Dre and his wife, ex-wife, don't come for me, Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre and his ex-wife, he got he got out of this very good. He got out of this with his life and less than an eighth of his um, net worth. When you look at it that way, he got out very good. Because y'all know, if he had died while he was in the hospital, she definitely would have gotten it all. Shh. She's got a strong features child, but let me stop because it's not about that. Anyway, that's it. That's all. Uh, if you made it this far, I do appreciate you. Please consider subscribing. I will see you all in the next one.